Okay, so you're welcome. So make sure you have a hard chair, a firm chair if you can, and I want you to sit up nice and straight. Okay, shrugging your shoulders. And as always, just do what suits you. So if I'm saying something and it doesn't suit you, then don't do it or just do whatever does suit you. Shrugging your shoulders the other way as well. Okay, stretch up to the ceiling, breathe in and breathe out, spreading out your arms. And again, stretch up or stretch out if it's easier for you. Breathing out through your mouth. Nice, long, controlled breath out. Breathe in, fill up your tummy. And breathing out. Once more, breathe in. Don't let your shoulders go up too high. Breathing out. Okay, stretch to one side. Breathe in. You can bring this elbow up if it suits you. Exhale. Make sure you're, you're still up straight. You're only leaning sideways. Breathe in. Feel the stretch on this side. Breathing out. Coming back into the middle. Go to the other side. Breathe in. Exhale. So imagine you're breathing into the upper lung. Breathe in. And coming back. And again, to the other side, breathing in. So we're breathing into, I'm breathing into my left lung. Exhale. Inhale. And coming back. The other side again, breathing in, warming up everything. Exhale. Inhale. And coming back. Just um, wobble, wiggle, wobble, whatever, your hips side to side. So just loosening the hips as well. And just go around in circles if you don't get too dizzy. Stretching out your chin and when you come back, tuck in your chin. Sit around in a circle. Back and go the other way. That's my creaky chair. It's not my bones. Okay, that's it. Breathing in, doing your own breathing, and again, and back into it. Okay, so up and down with your feet, warm up the legs, lift your knees up and down. And again, as much as you can, lift them up nice and high if you're comfortable with that. Sitting up straight, shoulders back, chest out. Kick out your legs. Imagine you're kicking a ball in out in front. You have to get a soccer team going, a football team. Okay, and go up on your toes. You can see me up on your toes and heels. You know what I mean. Up on your toes and heels, toes and heels, toes and heels. And stamp your feet into the ground. Nice and hard, that's it. Okay, heels and toes. Heels out in front, toes, tuck them in under the chair. Heels and toes, heels and toes. And just lifting up and down your knees. Imagine you're going for a walk. So we're just warming up everything. Work your arms as well. So we're gonna energize, we're gonna clear out any cobwebs that need clearing. It's a nice sunny day. We'll clear them out. Push your arms out to the side if you want, if you're comfortable. Keep walking if you're comfortable. And relaxing your arms. Give your legs a batter. Loosening up, warming up your muscles there. Give your knees a rub. Back of your knees. Half muscles and back up to your hips again. Rubbing around the hips, around your tailbone, warm up everything. Okay, and give your hands a nice fast rub. Sitting up straight, shoulders back, chin up, rub the tops of your hands, your arms a rub. Your shoulders and the other one as well. 
and just notice how it feels. To me, it feels lovely. It gives my arms and getting attention. Happy out. They do such a great job for us, and do we appreciate them? Okay, tap your chest, breathe in. Ah, let it go. And again, inhale. Ah, let it go. And once more, breathe in. Ah, let it go. Just gently tap your tummy, just tapping all around, just gently. You can just use your fingertips if you want. Over to the sides. Up under the ribs. So it's great to do the sides actually because they don't get looked after too much. And the other side again. Great. So sitting up straight, drop your chin to your chest. Breathe in. Breathe out. Look up to the ceiling. Down again. Breathing in, dropping your chin. Breathing out, look up to the ceiling. And again, breathing in, drop your chin down. Breathing out, looking back. Keep your head back, roll your ear to your shoulder, inhale. Roll it to the other side, exhale. So you're keeping your head back, roll it all the way over, breathing in. And all the way back. Drop your head down and roll all the way over. Breathe in, looking over your shoulder. Drop your head and roll it the other way, breathing out. Back again. Inhale. Exhale, going back. Looking straight ahead, drop your ear sideways, inhale, exhale to the other side. Back again, breathing in, breathing out, going back the other way. Looking straight ahead, shrug up your shoulders, clench your fists, tighten your legs, inhale, and release, letting go. And again, tighten everything, breathing in and release. Just take a check, how does your body feel when you release? Tighten again, breathe in and release. Okay, stretch down towards your toes. You can keep your head up if you're comfortable or you can drop it down. Exhale in position. Inhale. And exhale, coming back up again, pushing back your shoulders. And again, just reach forward. You can drop your body down further if you're comfortable. Exhale. Inhale. And coming back up again, pushing back your shoulders. And once more, nice stretch. Breathe in. So you're stretching from your lower back. Exhale. Inhale and coming back up again, pushing back your shoulders. Good, stretch to one side. Inhale, coming back up. The other side, breathing in and back up again. Exhale. And the right side again, or whichever the first side, breathe in and back up. And the other side, breathe in and back up. Good. Okay, shrugging your shoulders, really moving them around so you're loosening out everything there. And go the other way. Okay, so lift up your right leg up into the air, over and back in. Back in the hip, lifting it up and over. And back in. Make sure you're sitting up straight, lifting it up, over, and back in. And the other leg, lifting it up and over, and back. A little bit of a dance, warm it up, and back in. And again, lifting up and over, and back in. 
Okay, stamping your feet on the ground, up on your toes and on your heels. Okay, so leaning forward onto the chair, hands on your knees. Try not to hunch your shoulders too much. You're just dropping your head and arching your back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Look up to the ceiling. Letting your arch, your back arch again. And again, breathing in. Pull in your tummy, drop your head. Exhale. Inhale. And coming back up. Relax your shoulders. And once more, breathing in, arching your back. Exhale. Inhale. And back up again. Now, sitting on your hands or hold them behind you. Hold the chair behind you, sorry. Breathe in, push back your shoulders, lift up your chin. Exhale. Inhale. And relax. Nice controlled breathing. That's it. And again, breathing in. Push back your shoulders. Look up. Exhale. Inhale. And coming back. And once more, breathe in. Push back. Look up. Exhale. Inhale, and coming back, and relax. Okay, stamping your feet into the ground again. And you can move your arms and push back your arms. Working the back when you do that as well. Okay, we are restricted, so we can't go to the seaside, but we're gonna go for a swim anyway. Breathe in, swimming out. One hand in the other behind your back. Come forward a little bit on the chair if you can. Pull in your shoulder blades. Swim forward, breathe in. And pulling in your shoulder blades, breathe out. And again, inhale. And exhale. Push from the chest, breathe in. Pull back, breathing out. If you can, keep your elbows high. Push forward so you're stretching out the shoulder blades. Pull back, you're pulling them in together. Push forward and pull back. Push up to the ceiling and pull down. Then push up and pull down. Keeping your elbows back if you can. Push up and pull down. Hands on your shoulders, bring your elbows in and out. Breathe in and out. And go the other way, breathing in and out. Pushing right back, breathing in and relax, breathing out. Stretch your right arm across, bring it across in front, breathing in, give it a good push and relax it, and the other arm, push it over, breathe in, and relax. Shake out your arms, shake your hands, and shake the leg, shake out the legs. All right, so we're going to stand up for a little bit if you want to, if you prefer sitting down, do. Always listen to your body today, It'll be different every day. So, Standing up, you can use the chair. Let's move the um, camera there a little bit. Okay, so standing up nice and straight, shoulders back. Toes and heels again, so you're on your toes and heels. Walking away. Okay, and stamp your feet into the ground. Okay, you can hold onto a chair if you want or onto the wall. I want you to squish your right leg across. You're squishing it across onto the other one. The hips and the other leg, swishing it across. 
How does it feel? Okay, pushing it forwards and backwards. And we'll go back to the right back. Push the glutes. Good. And swing the other one as well. Remember now, chin up, head up, shoulders back. Engage your tummy. Okay, so much of the tabletop. So holding onto the chair, standing back a good bit. So if you can, try and keep your body flat, you know, so my bum isn't sticking out. And push your bum back, drop down your head. You can lean on your hands if you have a table, if you want. Exhale. Think of tabletop. Legs nice and firm. Breathing in. And coming back. Push back your shoulders. And down again. I'm just holding onto my knees this time, resting there. Exhale. Inhale and coming back up again. Once more, breathing in, dropping down to hold it there, or rest your head. Exhale, try and keep your legs straight. Inhale and coming back up. Okay, and this time we're going to turn your feet out slightly. Okay, and we're going to do the squat. Come in a little bit closer this time. Head up. Nice and straight. Breathe in. Oh, let's be roll there. Imagine you're sitting back into a chair. Exhale. Inhale. And back. And straighten your feet this time. Train tracks. Breathing in. Sitting back. Keep your chin and chest up. Exhale. Inhale. And coming back up. Once more, breathing in, sitting back, exhale, inhale, and back up again. Okay, so we're going to do triangles, so feet out nice and wide, arms out straight. You can hold on to a chair if you want, or if you don't need to, that's all right. Your right arm across to your left leg, look up at your hand in the air, exhale, inhale. And coming back up to the other side, breathing in, look over your shoulder, exhale, inhale, and coming back up, arms out nice and straight. And to the other side again, breathing in, look over your shoulder, exhale, great twist for the neck and the chest, inhale, coming back up. Once more, breathing in, look over your shoulder, exhale, inhale, and back up, arms out nice and straight, stretch them up towards the ceiling, breathe in, and relax. Bend your knees, scooping down, you're bringing up a big ball of energy up into the air, sprinkle it all over yourself. And again, breathing in, bring that energy all the way up and out. Once more, breathing in, bring it all the way up and breathing out, spreading it out. Bring your feet in again, about shoulder width apart. Tap your heels into the ground. We're doing a bit of tapping. Just let your knees nice and relaxed. Just tap your heels. Great, and stamp your feet again. Head up straight, shoulders back. Okay, so you can um, hold on to a chair if you want. I want you to lift up one knee. Body up straight, breathe in, and rest it back down. Sink that one into the ground and lift up the other one, breathing in. And exhale. Okay, so we'll sit down again. We'll take it easy on you, but very effective. Obviously, we all know how important it is to move. And I'm not sure if I've said it before, but the government has recommended that we all get 30 minutes exercise every day or at least five days a week. So are you getting your exercise? Bear that in mind. Shrug your shoulders again. And go the other way. 
Okay, or we should have done it standing. Just do a bit of twisting again. So you're looking behind, try and have a good look behind you, see what's going on. And the other side. And again. One more round, looking over your shoulder. And the other side. And relax. Excellent, fantastic. Shrugging again. This time then drop your chin and your chest. You can rest your hands on your lap if you want, but uh, keep your, your back flat. Exhale. Inhale. And coming back up again. Hands on your knees this time, arch your back, drop your head, breathe in. Breathe out, look up to the ceiling, opening up your chest. And again, drop your head, breathing in, breathing out, looking up to the ceiling. And rest. Okay, so we're going to do a few minutes of relaxation. So make yourself comfortable. Very important to be comfortable. Um, it's easier to, for the body and the mind to relax. And just as we're starting, um, I'm not sure if you've seen this before. This is a bracelet, very fancy bracelet elasticated with beads, if you can see it there. Okay, so if the bracelet is here, and if I pull it this way, you can see that, it's okay, a little bit is okay, but if I keep pulling, it's gonna break the bracelet. Beads will be everywhere. I don't know, can you see it? And then if I pull it the other way, pull it forward, again, a little bit is okay, but if I do it too much, my bracelet will be gone. So back into the middle again, it's nice and relaxed. So it's the same with our minds. If we're looking into the past in a negative way, a little bit is okay, but too much is not good for us, okay? It's not good for the brain, not good for the mind or for your mental health. And the same going forward into the future, looking into the future in a negative, worried, concerned way. You know, obviously the certain concerns are good, but not. I wouldn't worry too much. If you're going too much out there, um, it's not good and not good for the bracelet, but it's not good for our, our mind, our mental health. So the best thing then is to be present, okay? And the body scan that I'm going to do now, I, I personally find it a great way of being present. Just keeps my mind on what we're doing. And I'd like you to think for yourself or write it down, what helps you to be present? Okay, I asked some other people recently, one person said the breathing with the counting, so we might do that as well. Another person said when she goes for a walk, she just leaves everything behind and she's just observant of where she is. So that's another good one. And you can do that with anything. You don't have to go for a walk. If you're doing a task that you don't enjoy, for example, washing the dishes, whatever, be there. Don't be thinking that you don't like it. Just be present and experienced. Okay, so there's your little lecture. So sit back, make yourself relax, or make yourself comfortable, I mean. I hope I'll help you to get relaxed. And let your body just relax into the chair. It's best if you have your two feet flat on the ground, but, or whatever, but not crossed. Don't have your legs crossed. So make yourself comfortable there. And just let go, whatever you need to do to let go. Tell yourself you're present now for a while. And be aware of your breathing. So exhale first. Inhale, nice deep breath. Hold the breath for a count of four or more or less, whatever suits you. Four, three, two, one, and breathe out. Nice controlled breath. Like you're blowing out through the wind. Inhale, count of six if you can. Hold the breath, four, three, two, one, and exhale. Inhale. Holding the breath, exhale, letting go. And do that a few times at your own level. If you want to do the counting, do. Uh, 
And now let a lovely wave of relaxation go from the top of your head, down through your head, through your neck, your shoulders, down through your body and out through your feet. <coughs> and again, let a lovely wave of relaxation go from the top of your head, all the way down through your body, through your legs, out through your feet. And once more, you're just allowing everything to relax, following that lovely relaxation down through your body, through your hands and your arms, down through your legs to your feet. And just imagine you're letting go any stress or tension you might have. You're letting that dissolve out through your feet. Off into the earth. Imagine you're connecting with the earth there. And it's just dissipating any concerns, worries, any physical aches or pains. You're going to feel amazing after this. Really bright, really clear, motivated, ready for action. But you'll sleep well as well. Excellent, that's very good. So pay attention to the top of your head. Imagine you're having a head massage. Your head is just being massaged there. So you're letting go. Cross your forehead. All around your face. Just feel the muscles, the tendons, ligaments relaxing. Around your ears, the back of your head, neck, your chin, your cheeks, and your jawbone. All around your ears. So through your neck, across your shoulders, down your arms, right down to your hands. You're just letting go, loosening out, freeing, releasing. So cross your shoulders the same. Down through your chest. Your lungs are loosening, relaxing, freeing out, energizing, whatever's needed. And your heart as well. all through your chest, all around. It's warming up, it's releasing, relaxing, letting go. Going down through your body, every organ in your body is having a little shake, a little shuffle, and relaxing back into the perfect place. All the tendons, ligaments, bones, organs, vessels, the circulation, the nerve endings. Everything is having a little shake and relaxing. Movement. And just imagine now down your legs, loosening and relaxing. If you have any issues with your joints, see them as super healthy. Amazing the power of the mind. You're going to feel fantastic. And even medically, you'll actually be better after it. All around your lower back. We can hold a lot of stuff in our back. In your mind, tell yourself you're letting go. And allow all that goodness, all the energy fill in every cell in your body. Maybe imagine you're connecting with the earth or with the sun or with nature. 
You're just feeling a real connection. I'd just like you to bring your attention to your throat. Imagine that's really brightening up. Brilliant. Now looking up into your mind, imagine you see a lovely, clear, bright room, like a bright space. You'll find really relaxed, mind is getting clearer and clearer. And I'd like you now to bring up a happy memory. Might be something it makes you smile, a photo or something in nature or an animal, person, could be a cartoon, a character, an event, even something that happened for you personally that was fun, that was good. So funny or really good, worked out super. By bringing up that good memory, you'll notice your mind is really present, very clear. And you're feeling happier and more relaxed all the time. I'd like you now, in your mind, to list off a few things that you'd like to happen. I'm going to list them as if they've happened. So I'm delighted that. Whatever it is, something you'd like to be, something you'd like to get, to get, maybe like a nice surprise. And I want you to bring up that energy even stronger. So bring it up brighter. Right up. I'm going to all share that energy together. So we're sending it out to everyone else. You're receiving it as well. Very good. And we let it out into the world. So we're living in a world of peace and harmony. What do you really want? Just let that lovely energy out to the whole world. Imagine everyone is brightening up. Fantastic. So I'm going to count to three. And when I get to three, you can open your eyes, feeling really good, very clear, very happy within yourself and energized from all the lovely movements. One, two, and three. Now you'll have a lovely day after that and a lovely week and lots of good things happening for you.